Hello, VC Carl Jolie here, also known as Big Star 33 Thrifty Music Collector. Um, I am continuing part two of the 100 top selling albums of the 60s, and on this list there are no greatest hits allowed or compilation albums. I got this off of List Challenge, www.listchallenge.com. It's just something it checked off to see uh, they had them ranked from 1 to 100. And if you had listened to them, I just took it as listen to them and if I owned them. So I went through the list. So I'm starting off now at uh, number 49 and up what I had on the list. So number 49 that I had was Sly and the Family Stone and Stand. Coming in at number 47 that I had on the list, it was The Doors, The Soft Parade, a much maligned album. A lot of people do not like it. I like the album. Uh, the Doors albums, they made six, not including the other ones without Jim Morrison. The six albums, um, four of the five were in the top 100. The only one that wasn't was Morrison's Hotel. So, And then next, number 40. Six is the band titled their album titled The Band. Number 44, The Beatles and their second album produced by Capitol Records, added on the mini disc. Uh, I actually have the record, but it was so beat up. I'm just showing it to you. Um, and then number 42 was the much everybody's looking for the Beatles yesterday and today. The, Butcher album and on here somebody tried to peel it off to see if it was it. I just picked this up at a thrift store for a buck Obviously it wasn't but uh, a good album to have Number 41 Bob Dylan's Blonde on Blonde Not a huge Bob Dylan fan, but uh, he had a ton in the Rolling Stones 500 greatest albums considered by Rolling Stone magazine So he's on that list uh, number 40 the doors debut album the doors great album. Love it Absolutely love it and then number 39, Elvis Presley in How Great Thou Art, uh, Elvis doing some gospel. That's his second one on the list. And then number 38, watch out, here they come, the Monkees in Headquarters, followed by number 37, the Monkees in their big one, uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Jones, and LTD, my favorite album of the bunch. Number 36, on the list is Simon and Garfunkel, a team, a duo that gets forgotten in bookends. And then number 35, Big Brother and the Holding Company, led by Janis Joplin and Cheap Thrills. Number 34, Simon and Garfunkel are back with that great soundtrack from the movie The Graduate. And then number 33, Glenn Campbell's Wichita Lyman. A lot of people forget how great Glenn Campbell really was. And uh, that's my probably my favorite album. Favorite song by him, by him is Wichita Lyman. I just love that song. He just, the guitar and everything else is just excellent. Then number 32 is The Who's Tommy. Coming in at number 31 then is CCR and The Bayou Country. Number 29. Chicago and Chicago Transit Authority. Number, then I had 28, I actually had another one from CCR, Willie and the Poor Boys. Okay, I know people have been waiting, like, where are those stones? Number 27, Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. Uh, then I had only, I didn't have the next ones I had up to, the next one I had was 24 by The Beatles and Help. Next one, a Beatles album, Beatles 65, number 23, and then Simon and Garfunkel are back in Sound of Silence, and at number 22, and then this one, Paisley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme, Simon and Garfunkel at 21, and at number 20, it's back to back, he had the 20... He ranked 20 and 19 for albums was Johnny Cash. And number 20 was his great album at Folsom Prison. And then the next one was San Quentin. San Quentin was 19. So those are, those are number 20 and 19. Now, getting into the others to the top. Number 18 was CCR and Green River. 
Number 17, Van Morrison, Moondance. And here comes a group that dominates the 60s, the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. Who could forget at number 15, J Jimi Hendrix Experience, Are You Experienced? Uh, this one, a lot of people forget they had the big one, number 14, Iron Butterfly. In La Gata de La Vita, doom, 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 the psych rock stuff. That, yeah, it was huge. That was their, that's what put them on the map, for sure. Number 14. Number 13, another band that surprised a lot of people. Came out of the Blues Projects. Uh, that was the Blood, Sweat, and Tears, their debut album. Another great trio, super group, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, their debut album. Awesome. One of my favorites. And then, of course, number 11. Here they come. Meet the Beatles. And now we're getting down to the nitty-gritty, the top 10 selling albums of the 60s. Number 10, The Beatles' Revolver. Number 9, The Monkees in their debut album. Followed up by number 8, More of the Monkees. Number 7, guess who? The Beatles and Rubber Soul. And then this is, so those are, you know, Rubber Soul, great album, and Revolver, great album. And then you come up with the number six best-selling album in the 60s was the Beatles' Magical Mystery Tour, which is kind of mind-blowing compared to those. Then here's an, uh, number five, great group, one of my favorite groups, too. Top five in their debut album, Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin. Then here we go. This is Beatle Domination, which many consider the greatest album ever made. Sgt. Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band. They were number four. But the other Beatle album that outsold them to go to the three spot was Abbey Road. Actually, I I I really love Abbey Road of the Beatles albums. I I prefer this one over the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I love this one. As you see, it's brand new, and I open I had it on the other one. Then number two, their second album, Led Zeppelin II, who would dominate the 70s. That with their album, this one, number two. And number one, The Beatles White Album. That was the number one selling album of the 60s. So that's the list. Hope that you found it somewhat interesting. Hope everybody's doing well. God bless, and as always, stay classy, DC.